Hi guys, how you doing out there? David Humble Trekker Channel. Hope you're doing great today. I've got a flashlight of you today. The Luminite Compass R. It's the updated version. I've already reviewed the older version. I ran over it with a car. It's still going strong. One of my favourite lights. But I've got to say, they've hit the ball out of the park with the updated version. A high grade aluminium case. It's waterproof down to a depth of two metres. It's rated for drop strength from 1.5 metres. Although, of course, I have run it over with a car previously and it uh, suffered no serious damage from that whatsoever. It's a multi-purpose light, so you can carry it like this, or it's got the head strap attachment, so you can wear it as a headlight. Externally, they've not made a great deal of change. They've just done, actually made one alteration, that is they've put a lanyard hole right up at the top. But actually, this is a full specification upgrade to the Compass R. Three different areas, really, they've, uh, they've attacked in the upgrade, which is already a great, great light. Uh, they've improved the power, it's gone from 1,000 lumens to 1,200 lumens in max mode. They've changed the beam characteristics, so it's less of a thrower now, and it's more of a flood. And they've done that by adapting the, the lens. They've added in a battery monitor, so there's a slight change to the control system, and then they've done a few really smart upgrades to the actual carrying system. I hope you'll be able to see, but the new compass on the right has got a finer diffusing lens and this means now instead of being a more directed beam it's actually throwing a flood of light right out in front of your face so when you've got it on and you've got it in the max power which is now 1200 lumens it really does create a blanket of light right across right in front of your face they've added in in max mode an extra 200 lumens so you've gone from 1000 lumens which is already a powerful light to 1200 lumens I'll run through the different power ratings now as I cut in some night footage. It's a Cree XHP50 CW LED, max mode, that's 1,200 lumens for one hour, 40 minutes. It's got a range of 150 meters. High mode, 630 lumens, three hours, 40 minute runtime, 80 meters range. Medium, 240 lumens, eight hours, 40 minute runtime, 50 meter range. Low mode, 80 lumens for 40 hours, runtime 28 uh, meter range and finally your moonlight mode your lowest mode five lumens that will run for 25 days they've made one major upgrade in the package to the control system and that is that they've now added in a battery monitor if you hold the power switch on for five seconds it will start to flash and the amount of flashes gives you an indication of how much battery life you've got left in it if it flashes five times you've got above 80% battery life, four times is 60 to 80%, three times is 40 to 60%, two times is 20 to 40%, and if it flashes just once, you've got less than 20%. One click will turn it on, and it's got a memory mode, it will come on in the, the, uh, the strength that it was on when you last turned it off. There's three basic uh, levels, low, medium, and high. If you give it a double click, it will go into max mode. If you turn it off, if you hold it down for two seconds, it will then go into moonlight mode. If you then, if you hold it down for five seconds, it will go into, first it will flash for the battery indicator, and then it will be locked. So you can't turn it on unless you hold it down again for three seconds. Another little trick is, if you want to store it for a long time or in your pack, give the base cap a little 130 second turn, and that will completely disconnect the battery, prevent any risk of it turning on accidentally in your pack. What you're getting now in a box, is a belt clip or a pocket clip, which is reversible. You clip it on just like that. And then this gives you a good flexible option for an additional hands-free carry. You can clip it onto your pocket like that or any anywhere you want to clip it on. And then you can switch it on, get illumination without actually holding the lamp. The head strap is basically the same as it was on the uh, previous model, but they've now painted the bracket here black. So it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing uh, goes with the rest of the black aluminium and it's got the you can either have the head strap as a three point harness like this or the way I normally use it which is just the round the head one headband which gives me plenty of security and it's very comfortable while we're talking about wearing on your head 
they've actually got an optional bracket here which you can attach to your hard hat and then you can just slip your light, light on like that and you're good to go on the work site. This bracket attaches with an allen key, just attaches to the brim of your hat and cleverly as of all the designs from Luminite they're always thinking ahead and they actually include a tiny little allen key inside the bracket so you don't have to think about any extra tools. Here are a couple of optional extra mounting brackets you can get for the Compass R. They're Velcro with rubberized brackets. You can get it either in the horizontal uh, mounting position or the vertical mounting position. You get a generous amount of Velcro, so you could attach this to your bicycle, uh, your motorcycle if you want extra, light on the handlebars, scaffolding pole, anywhere in your workshop where you need additional light. Charging's taken care of by the uh, USB cable, which just attaches on the bottom. The bottoms of the lamps, they are magnetic, so you can attach them to any steel surface, top of your car, bonnet of your car, piece of scaffolding pole, so then you've got another very flexible mounting option. With a Compass R, what you're getting is a 360 degree lighting system. It really, you know, knocks the ball out of the park in all the dimensions that you need from your flashlight. Number one, your light performance, your power of your light, your basic power, 1,200 lumens delivered in what is almost perfect uh, beam characteristic for the type of use for this category of light. Number two, it's robustness, it's durability, it's proof to the elements. Drop it, run it over the car, dip it in water, it's not gonna let you down. It's made out of the absolutely, the top manufacturing materials with no scrimping, no saving anywhere in it. Number three, the control system. Easy to remember, easy, easy to use, user interface. Number four, what you get in the box when you purchase it. You get a high quality head strap, you get the uh, pocket clip, you get a USB charger, you've got everything you need to get going with a flexible multi-purpose light. And then number five, you want to take it to the next level, you've got all the additional options you can purchase for it to turn it into a complete lighting system. Mountain brackets, hard hat bracket, whatever you want you can probably get for this light to turn it into the system you need. Thank you for watching. If you're a subscriber, thanks for that support. If you're not already a subscriber, check out a few more of my videos. I'll do gear reviews. Uh, content from the great outdoors, bushcraft hacks, survival tips. If you like what you see, smash down that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time.